Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the C22 license, also known as the Asbestos Abatement Contractor license. So essentially an asbestos abatement contractor performs abatement including containment, encapsulation or removal and disposal of asbestos containing construction materials in and on buildings and structures. And that definition is straight from the CSLB website and that's the contractor's state license board. So basically, you need a C-22 license to bid on any projects involving asbestos where the total cost exceeds $500 in labor and materials. Now, the time frame to get a C-22 license takes about 90 days on average. Typically, you're looking at about a six to eight week application processing time, and then generally another three to four weeks before you go and take your test. Now, this time frame can fluctuate depending on a variety of different, different factors, but on average, you're looking at about a 90 day time frame. Now, the basic requirements for a contractor license are that you're at least 18 years of age, you've got to have a valid driver's license or USAID, You've got to have a social security or ITIN number, and you can't currently be on probation or parole. Now, the experience requirements are that you have at least four years full-time journey level experience within the last 10 years. You've got to have somebody who can sign off on that experience, and you've got to be able to submit documentation to the CSLB if they request to see proof of your asbestos abatement experience. Now, who can you use to sign off on your asbestos experience? You could use a general contractor. You could use a contractor that holds the C-22 license. You could use a foreman or supervisor. You could use a fellow journeyman or employee at a company that you've worked at within the last 10 years. Or in some cases, you could even use a business associate. Now, for a deeper look at how to fill out the application, I suggest you check out our website. You'll see the link in the description. Now, criminal history. Everybody's got to do live scan fingerprinting when they apply for a California contractor license. Your best bet is if you do have a criminal record, just be honest. Typically, the state board is concerned mostly with charges associated with fraud, forgery, and embezzlement. So if your charges don't fall under those categories, you should be okay, but be ready to submit court documents just in case. Now, what's on the exam? There's going to be two parts. There's 115 questions covering contractor license law. There's another 115 questions covering asbestos. You'll have three hours to complete each portion. It's a multiple choice exam, and it's going to be done on site on a computer. And if you need to, you can bring a translator the day of the exam. Now, the C-22 license portion of the test covering asbestos covers estimating, planning, and training, covers containment area preparation, covers asbestos abatement methods and disposal, covers documentation, and then 17% of the exam covers safety. Now, for a deeper look at the exam, practice uh, tests, study guides, and different kind of resources to help you prepare for this portion of the exam, you can check out the link uh, that'll pop up and then in the description also. Now, after you pass your test, you'll get your results immediately. You'll know right there on the spot as it's an online exam. You can do a retake. Typically, you can retake the exam within about three weeks. And then once you pay your license activation fee and provide your contractor bond number, you'll get your contractor license sent to you in the mail in about two to three weeks. Now, the costs associated with the license are you're going to pay a state application fee, you'll pay a license activation fee and then a renewal fee every two years, you'll pay for the cost of fingerprinting, and then you'll provide what's called a contractor bond. Now, at the end of this video, you'll see a video covering the most up-to-date California contractor license costs, and then there'll be a video describing bonds. So I suggest you check out both of those. But in conclusion, getting your C-22 license, it can be a very smooth process if you've got the correct information, if you fill out your application correctly, and obviously you pass the exam. And these are all different things we can help you out with. But for more information on getting licensed, bonded, trade skills, and more, you can like and subscribe to our channel. Any questions, drop it in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, this is digitalconstructive.com.